Hello, ladies and gentlemen, everybody of the world that loves sound. James Spilling here once again. It's a one-track, one library for those that love soundscapes, textures, pads, and atmosphere stuff. I give you Imperial AD from Sample Logic. Um, it's an atmosphere designer. AD, atmosphere designer. Um, and if you like sample logic stuff, like me, I'm pretty sure you're not going to be disappointed with this. I have written a track using just this instrument, and me being me, I've used a picture to inspire me. This is the picture. Um, it is a cold, wintry road. So it's a sort of a magical, cold, tinkly, um, atmospheric, lonely road, maybe with a hint of evil. Could be. Maybe with a hint of barren lonesomeness um if that is english anyway for those that want to listen to the track straight away just go to the minutes and seconds down below press full track and you will hear imperial ad and it's all all its glory to this wintry road uh but for those that want to stick around and see the gooey i will show you the instrument i will show you what it does and then i'll show you the track and how i've used it um so in the meantime this is imperial ad So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the instrument. This is exactly how it comes out of the tin. Um, you need the full version of Contact to play this. Uh, me being me, I've put it on my quick load. So, under my sample logic, here we go, Imperial AD. And you've just got the one NKI. And this is exactly how it comes out of the box. First sound, uh, instrument preset, abduction. Right, see what I mean? Um, it's, it's pretty lovely. Uh, let me just play you a couple of more um, presets. So up here on the top left, instrument preset, go. Um, again, you've got a, a nice, very useful browser. Um, so instrument presets, these are whole things. You can choose the type you want. So acoustic, or blah, 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 experimental, fast motion, uh, all the way down to focal. And these are the presets on the right. Uh, so I'm going to say I want uh, acoustic, and because it's, is this truly winter? Let's go for mystery. <laughs> so these are the options on the right that they give you. Obviously you can favourite the ones here with a heart, and if you want to see all your hearts, you just press the heart, and those are the ones there. Um, so let's go beneath the sands. So beneath the sands... Here we go. Nice. Let's, uh, do you want to try another one? Carnival killer. Right, I feel under threat on the big wheel. Isn't that nice? Uh, it's a trap. I like the sound of that. What is not to like? Um, that's all I'll say. Right, I love that, so I'm going to favour that. Right, um... Without any further ado, let me show you the GUI. So we're going to use It's a Trap because it's fun. So uh, here you go. On the main, you have main edit FX master. On the main page, this is edit FX master. On the main page, you have two core presets. You can turn them off here, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is Shadow Myth. Now, if you like the whole instrument setting but want to change core preset number one, guess what you do? You press it. Go to core presets, core A, and you do the same thing. So I'm going to go, I want to hit attack on that one. And I'm going to go Baywatch. <laughs> and you get this. So now I have Baywatch. So I have Baywatch. I've just noticed I have Baywatch and then I have Massage on the second one. Who I'm a child. Oh, no, that's not very massagey. Anyway, let's change let's change massage to I don't know, Corby. Let's go um pad like. Oh, uh, 
clouds. There we go. Right, that'll do. Very fun. So, um, under each sample, my Baywatch sample, you have uh, sound sources. Now, click on this, and you have the sources of all of them. Now, these are just literally EAD, Imperial um, Atmosphere Designer Atmos number. So, they don't give you any clues, but you can choose, I want to hit, and I want lo-fi, maybe pad-like, no, maybe panoramic. Then you get the shortlist which is very useful. So let's go EAD Amos 3 to 8. Well, that's very nice. So let's just, for the meantime, turn off B, and we've just got Baywatch going on. Now, edit. Uh, this is your start point. This whole thing is your loop point. And you can turn it off and on with this little button. So let's start you here. Let's make a small loop point and turn you on. So you can go reverse, and I'm going to go here. This is your air start point if you're reversing. Sounds pretty similar. Uh, underneath you have your mix, volume, pan, uh, your transpose, which is basically where you want to put it on the keyboard. So if you watch the keyboard underneath, wee it's all the way up here. Still playing the same. Um, this is your pitch. go. Isn't that fun? Uh, filters, low cut, high cut. Now, if a th little if a little one of these knobs has a little edit thing, it means you can assign it and modulate it. Um, but before I get there, let's just say we've got the energizer and polisher. Um, if you're a sample logic fan, you get these on a few of their instruments. This is, oops, this is basically a saturation and uh, sort of hi-fi EQ and stuff goodness uh, attack uh, decay sustain release and cross fades of when you're looping um so let's go back to here so you, you can edit these uh this is an LFO for this one let's go sine wave uh, let's turn the intensity up uh, let's put on a 16th these are all uh, synced to your DAW by the way Yeah, and you just have a nice LFO. Yeah, um, so this is the core mix. By the way, the blend blend option down here is just blending between A and B. Um, and you can also edit this. So if I go, let's step sequence this. Do, 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 do. You have presets down here. That'll do. And I do this. Let's call it again. Uh, let's... For the, of sake of showing you 30 one 30 seconds so go back to core mix and uh watch the blend well hey let's turn b on i mean fun let's uh modulate volume lfo turn the lfo on let's go saw that's just on A. So if I wanted to do something on B, edit B here. Let's put the start there. Um, let's do, uh, should we do volume B? 30 seconds. Maybe it's just lots of fun. And if you want to turn it off, blend, that's that. Yeah, so uh, that's your core mixes and that's your blends, core mix, and those are your animations for absolutely everything. Pan B, uh, low cut, high cut, loop start. So that is just scratching the surface. So I tell you what, let's turn um, Baywatch off and have just clouds. Now, FX, you have all of these FX. You can choose what you have on each one. 
you have all of these now replica and for those that know native instruments you also have things like flare and faces and um and fubs fun fun stuff like that um now uh look oh what's this little mark it means i can assign it so uh, what's going to be opposite cabinet let's go preset 10 because that was the one i liked um now i'm hoping we can get a bit of a screamer on this so uh turn it on and here we go change the cabinet leslie I think it's lovely. Let's turn it up. So that's just, yeah. So back to all these things. Uh, uh, turn them off, on, off there, and there, and there. So, uh, I mean, I think that's lovely. Uh, you have a master section of which uh, you can um, assign volume, basically. The volume and the volume of A and the volume of B on an LFA. Um, all lovely. Volume B. Right. Uh, let's turn. I want something uh, equally uh, not heavy. So let's go. <laughs> Ring of death. <laughs> Ring of death. What's Ring of death? I'm interested. Okay, I quite like Ring of death. Okay, now. I mean, I like that. So edit this. Start. Oh, that's nice. So this is the hit. Let's try reversing it. So let's start from here. Uh, now on the reverse, so if you see, I can't really press. So on the edit of reverse, it's basically gone no forward and then reverse. So actually I want, let's turn you off. And I want reverse. There we go. Oh, that's nice. And then we loop it. So let's try this and try and loop this. Isn't that nice? Right. I like that so much that I'm going to save it as a snapshot. Um, so uh, let's call it JS. What does it sound like? Call it spaceship. Spaceship. Amb. I don't know. Anyway, so, and then you have snapshots, and I've done it for a couple before. All of these, you see? Right. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, you have the all-important random button. I like the random button. Now, go back to main. Uh, you can decide what you want to randomize. So instrumental presets only. It's this one. Let's go. Okay. Excellent. But if and if that's not enough, uh, you can basically uh, let's. This is the global one, but let's go for core presets, A, B, sources, FX chains, and the loop animation. Why not? Let's randomize the whole thing. Ready? So, we have ended up with this. Ready? Just looking at what it's doing. So the reverb. That's very nice. Uh, 
I'm gonna uh, again you could edit those and but I'm still gonna call it something I want to call it the sort of space uh, can you tell I'm in space mood JS orbit let's call it orbit here's a biggie for me look at this box drag sample here you can import your own samples um anyway so uh i have done just that so what you do is you go to your browser um i recorded myself uh tapping uh one of this again this thing um i've recorded myself doing a violin open fifth and myself doing a vox ooh um so and what you end up with is lovely samples that you can drag in here so this is my ooh and then what you do is you grab it and you drag it over here see put it on there and you've got it here right and you play it and you can do whatever you like to it so let's go assign an LFO to that yeah um and and the world is your oyster with your own samples i mean i love that and i that makes me very very happy right i'm going to show you the track so ladies and gentlemen this is my track and as you can see these are all my midi instruments at the top these three are my samples i will remind you what i did this is the violin open fifth That's enough of that. Obviously, I went for as long as I possibly could to make the sort of paddy sound. This is my Vox Ooh. And it went for as long as I could hold my breath. Um, and this is my tapping my this. for as long as possible anyway so uh we can get rid of those hide make an active so as we can see um where it says no snapshot loaded that was probably because it was a preset um and anything that js lonely road are these the ones i created probably for, edited from uh presets but um so the first one let's play the first one this is purely a pad i'm going to play around here so this is uh i called it lonely road Because guess what? It's a lonely road. <laughs> anyway, um, let's get rid of the browser now. Um, uh, so then we, I got uh, a bass effects. By the way, the way that it is down here is literally in the order of the instruments that I created. So obviously I've color coded them after the fact and then to make mixing easier. So my bounce downs are all color coded in together. Then created a bass. This is the bass. Yes, just a yeah. So, um, so the next one, uh, was uh, I I put my tapping sample in here. Look here, yeah, under the initial set of abduction, I put it in here. This is look, there we go. Um, and this is what it sounded like. Bit of pan, bit of FX. So it's basically sounded a little bit like rain <laughs> or icicles dripping off a tree. Mm, yeah, okay, I'll shut up, James. Um, uh, the next one, I created a little pad. JS sample pads. I had my violin open fifth and a Vox Oo, and this is them together with a little bit of FX. Because.
because I did some uh, automation. Let that blend's going. FX. Add this on. Cut. I cut. Um, add the blend. Volume B. Add a volume B on a sign. I quite liked it. So that's a mixture of my ooze and my violins. Who'd have thunk? Sorry. This was just a little preset. Flutterflies. Um, my JS Expanse pad was just uh, a nice expansive pad. And this is it. Yeah, um, this was uh, just a texture, um, already a texture that was um, a preset. Oh, that, oh, that's nice. That's just that's just lovely, isn't it? Um, again, uh, a little bit of. Um, preset action and then this pulse a JS pulse here um, I just edited gave it a little bit of uh, step sequences volume was probably going on an LFO there you go any more FX no nothing and then this volume wasn't on an LFO yeah, just gave it a little bit of je ne sais quoi. Again, some more presets, more presets, uh, low sub presets, uh, uh, perk. I sort of gave it another preset. Now, this next pulse, I used some samples again. Uh, what did I use? I used my Vox U only. And this is it. Very subtle. It was just something in the background. Um, and then I had uh, another pad. And then my other contact. I used my, my literally, uh, another sample that I'd previously done for a previous track. And uh, answers on a postcard for what that track was, because I can't actually remember now. It was literally just me tapping this. Like that. Um, and this was what I came up with. I dragged this sample in and we came up with this. So that's this. A uh, little bit of uh, low cut there. Bit of delay. Yeah. Just for a little bit of rhythm. Then uh, JS Cavernous Whispers, Cavernous Whispers, a bit of uh, Atmos. Just, you know, pushed back for a little bit of, you know, Ghosts of the Woods. Why not? Um, Vox Ooze, me going ooh, right at the end. Yeah, and then a low hit, because everyone likes a low hit to finish things off. Done. Um, so that is uh, basically all my instruments. Let me show you the bounces and the proper track indeed. Uh, so as you can see, I've organized the color coding blues pads. That's a texture, basses, FX, um, sort of hits with a bit of hit delays. These are my loops and pulses of my Vox going hoo, 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 hoo. And my perks in a sort of a nondescript, no color at all. Um, so I think without further ado, I should just play you this track. So here's the picture. 
it's the wood, it's the car driving through the snow and there's, well, is it lonely, is it evil or is it just beautiful? I think it's a mixture of everything, to be honest. It's uncertainty. Um, but it's a beautiful uncertainty. Hmm, maybe. Look, I've even written uncertainly evil. <laughs> so let's just um, uh, make you all a bit more visible. There you go. Um, so this is the Lonely Winter's Road. Um, and with the uncertainly evil middle section. There you go. Enjoy. So that was my little take on uh, my winter's lonely road using Imperial AD. Um, so barren meets mysterious meets beautiful meets ice. Anyway, um, if you like it, if you like this, give it a like. Please, please, please give it a like. Um, and if you like what I do, uh, please subscribe and you'll be notified as soon as I do anything else. As ever, I'll put a link down below where you can get the track and the stems if you so desire. But in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you very, very soon for another something or other. <laughs>